Alright, so, after that, we now have the deluxe picture box, which can snap pictographs in color. And there's one thing I know we can do with that, but first we have to find that fellow again, who was, uh, wandering around looking for that fancy girl that we took a picture of. In fact, he's right here, so let's talk to him. Yo, dog. You don't look familiar at all, buddy. Are you some kind of tourist or something? If you are, I'll show you around. Why don't you join me for a little stroll around the town? On Windfall, maybe a little cozy while... Alright, well, this guy right here, who's the guy who used to live in the fancy house, but he's now poor, and the old man who used to stand by the tree is now fancy, and living in the fancy house and being a complete jerk, this guy is no longer a jerk. So, yeah. He's asking us to find his daughter, who, uh, Mila, who was the one who works at the outdoor shop in the middle of the day. She's the blonde one with the, like, rags on who works in the outdoor shop at daytime. But he's kind of concerned she's going to go do something bad, and do it if you, just do it if you catch her something in the act. Not like she would, but if she does, jump out and stop her, please. Honestly, though, despite how my middle age, she's kind of, she's a kind child who thinks only of the poor, poor, poor father. She doesn't do anything bad. Yeah, well. Okay, well, the, the two, um... folks aren't here yet, but... perhaps I miss... perhaps I misstepped there, but... We're gonna go see if we can find Mila doing something reprehensible. Reprehensible. Hello. Words, words, words. Correct words. There she is, right there. So let's talk to her. Shh. Take off. Go away. Screw you then. So we are going to follow her. Actually, hold on, I want to check on something else first. Do something else neat before we do that. Because you see, we got this room. What the? Oh, this is just a potion shop. I never knew there was a potion shop here. Right, let's ignore that. So, you've just found out that I don't really explore towns that much unless a door looks fancy. However, it was this door we needed to go in. Why did I hide behind that thing? Whatever, that's not the point right now. Not the point. Not the point. We're going in this fancy door. Perhaps there'll be another time to tail Miller. Oh, he's not offering anything today. Well now, good evening. Yes, yes, on the first floor of this I run a nightly auction. And actually, tonight's auction is about to begin. Oh, my dear, is it ever... Yeah, behind an auction, but I like to describe it more simple terms. It's a competition of the very highest order. Yes, yeah, a competition to see who can get the item that's being auctioned. Can you... Uh, yes. So, would you like to participate in the auction? Yes. Oh dear, really? Are you going to find not explaining the auction? Yes, I can explain the auction. That's good. That speeds things up. Yes, it does. Okay, so you got this auction, and there's going to be an item on sale, and we have to try and win it. And there's Mario, and the fancy guy, and all the other stuff. Yes, yes, yes. First, let me thank all of you bargain-loving people for joining us this evening. Please, what a turnout. Yes. This auction is about to begin, yes. And all the I suppose, pop up at the bottom of the evening. Oh, dear me, I can't stop sniffling. Oh, you had gone before the auction storm. Always makes my nose run. That's creepy. You know this. Yay, piece of heart. A fabulous piece of heart. <gasps> Oh my dear, what a piece! I prize. At last, the blah 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 blah. Okay, let the auction begin. Start the bidding at 80 rupees. And. Begin. Basically, we have to tap A and let and get our bids up, but people are gonna bid. And he bid 83 rupees. These guys don't bid very much. So, what you wanna do. 86 rupees. Yeah, they bid like 3 rupees at a time. Until. How much do you bid? You know what? I'm gonna turn this up. Um... To 157. Oh, dear me, the spectacle of it all! What an incredible bid! You've sent shockwaves to the auction house. Can you hear the dear people recover? What? I used to be called Miss Auction. I can't lose now! Right. So now we gotta tap the button because the people have been shocked. I'm gonna leave it there and let them recover. Pick it up, folk. Ah, what you got? 
161 rupees. Yeah, so let's, um, 34, let's bid 50 more. Yep, so if you bid, like, a lot more than they do, you can just knock them out. Let's leave it there. I uh, probably shouldn't have let that happen, but... You know what? Whatever. Good lord! Uh-oh. They're really picking it up. Go, 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 go! You know what? Come on, people. Come on! Hit the button, 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 yes! Woo! I will bid a hundred. Because I don't care. Actually, I'm gonna bid... 60. Ah, is he serious? What a rat! And that should cover it. Yep, that it. Good people, are you done bidding? Oh, there isn't much time left, dear people. Uh... Yes, 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 only five seconds remain. You know what? I'm just gonna, you know, keep this up and bid 40 more. Alright. Just keep these guys down for the second time. And so, it's, ah. That's a fabulous piece of heart goes to HPP for the price of 371 rupees. That was a lot. But, I got a piece of heart anyway, and I don't have to get that piece of heart again. Fancy! Incredible. Yes, yes, yes. Neat. Alright, that was the first auction we had, and it was a success. Just hope I don't have to spend money on anything anytime soon. Jeez. But, now let's see if I can get some spy and done. Because she's going to, like... She's gonna... Maggie over there... Not That's not Maggie. That's Mila? Yeah, Mila. Mila's gonna start moving eventually once she decides we're not here anymore. And then we have to kind of tail her. And then once we get her to where we go, and stuff will really happen. So I'm gonna cut to that if that happens. After the girl! Okay, when I, when I was walking past Mila, I walked up here, and then she ran this way. So we gotta go follow her now. He gets. So she's going that way. So now, okay, so you do have to talk to her, and then you have to run up the, uh, shit. She saw me. Damn it. Damn it. That was crap. <sighs> I have to find a way to put this all together into one part. Oi. Alright, so let's talk to Mila here, and start it over. Because this is how you actually do it. In case I don't put this in the part before, what you have to do is you have to talk to her, she'll say, shh, shh take off, go away, and then you walk up the stairs, and... she bolts off. So then... you hide. She'll look around, looking to see if you're there, because she don't want her to see you, or you have to start over. So then once she decides you're not there, she will... run? Ah. Okay, so she keeps going that way. So then wait again, just stop there. Don't want to get too close, because she'll turn around and look to see if you're there. And once she decides you're not there, she's going to run again. Where are we running? I got no time to clear my head. Where are we running? I got me working till we're dead. And once she runs up the hill again, because I'm hiding in the bush, hiding in the bush. Beating around the bush. She's gonna run up the hill and. Can we hide behind? Up, oh, she's getting away. Girl, be getting away. 
Which way did she go? Oh, she went this way. There's no way to go other than that. Ha! Okay, so she stopped there. What? What? Did Link just meow? Link just meow. What? That's amazing. I never know that. I never would have... That was so funny! Except I didn't laugh. How is it funny if you didn't laugh? Well, I can do whatever I please. Thank you, people that are watching my videos. Don't judge me, boss. Okay, so Mila is going to run in there. And now is our chance to corner her. Ha ha! Got you now! Shit! Oh, damn it. You, you, you startled me. I, what, what, what do you want? What, what, my heart is raising. Who scared me? Wait, what, are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. And who do you think you are, anyway? Hmm, how do I answer this? I'll say an ally of justice. A what? An ally of justice? I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. Please let me go. It was just an, uh, it was just an impulse. That's all. That's a bad, it was just a bad idea. Why would you say anything? I, I don't know. I ask him the same thing. Does this mean you're mad at me? Yes. A random guy, you're, you're concerned that a random person you've just met is mad at you. Would you at least listen to the circumstances of my life that led up to this moment? Please, you owe me that much. Do I really? Whatever. I want to quiet you. <laughs> quiet yous. I was once the richest little debutante in this world, in this town. Did you know that? No. Well, no, I didn't actually check that when you were here. But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress, where I was locked up and held captive. Oh, it was awful. My father spent every last rupee in his coffers in an attempt to get me rescued. Aw. That's right, every last bit of our family fortune, gone. That was when my life of poverty began. Now, every day, from morning until night, I'm busy working in the open air shop. So as you can see, at least I'm trying to settle into my poor lifestyle. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events in, in my pitiable life? That's kind of funny. I'm going to say that's terrible, because I don't think I want to pick that option. And to make matters worse, for some reason, I can't think of it that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. Well, you're still kind of a bitch. That makes me so mad that I want to do something terrible. Do you understand my plight? No, not really. Oh, very well. Then you let me go? Unfortunately, no. But why not? Because I'm honest. It's true, I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. Okay, sure. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Good character development. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Ah, what an amazing f ah, what an amazing feeling. I let all my worries out of my ch out of my heart. Wow, I actually feel refreshed. Let me at least thank you. Please take this. And we got another empty bottle! Yay! 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 So now we have three empty bottles. What do we do with three empty bottles? Don't look at me like that. I didn't steal it. It washed up on the shore, so I picked it up. Don't tease me like that. It's a tiny bottle made of crystal clear glass. It's so beautiful. I wish my soul could be that beautiful. Wow. What am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Hmm. So, um, I guess you sh I should go soon. Mother mother will start worrying. Goodbye, little ally of justice. And good luck to you. Why, thank you, random person, who was almost a thief. Thanks for tonight. Well, I mean, okay. So she's gonna run off, and we're gonna feel good about ourselves. We have s done just... We have done awesome things for justice. Okay, in the next part, we will probably do more awesome things in the name of justice. See you then.